Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Christmas video. And for today's Christmas video, what are we doing, Emma? For today's video, we are going to be trying Christmas snacks from Tesco. Now, Tesco is pretty popular with you guys usually. And uh, throughout this whole Christmas period, we're gonna be trying to do a bunch of Christmas menus and supermarket snacks, as yeah. that's usually like the request. People wanna know what's new in, in the supermarkets. So everything we have today is from Tesco. Yeah. It's either their finest, they're free from or just Tesco branded. You wouldn't find these in any other places. Yep. So we went to our local Tesco's. We had a look at their Christmas products. We've got a selection of stuff here. We've got sweet, savory, and I mean, should we just get into it? Let's just do it. Yeah, okay. absolutely. You pick. Let's start with these. Oh, these were some star. of the ones that we were most excited about. These are four all butter pastry. Speculoos. Speculoos tarts. Basically Biscoff. There it is. Okay. Interesting. Oh, whoa. Crumbly. Falling apart in a Ooh, bit. Oh, that's a pastry. Oh. Right, shall I just go for it? Just it looks like it. quite a lot of ice in there. Yeah, but... buttercream. Oh. Ooh, really crumbly. Oh, it's just like a really sweet biscuit. It's a little bit mince pie. The inside, the middle does feel a bit mince pie. It's spicy. With buttercream. Yeah, it's spiced. I don't really know what to expect with that one. No. I'm gonna give that a six. Yeah, I agree, a six. But the buttercream is a bit too strong for me. Yeah, interesting, but. And I think I was convinced because it said speculoos that it was gonna be biscoffy, but I think I was wrong there. Yeah, that, you was, were. that was an assumption I jumped to. Still pretty good though. Yeah, let's try <laughs> these. Love this. We have to go for these. Yeah. So these are Tesco milk chocolate truffle sprouts, basically just chocolate in the shape of. With a ganache center. Yeah in the shape of Brussels sprouts. So these are a luscious milk chocolate truffle encased in creamy white chocolate. Love truffle. I hope they look exactly like it. Ooh. Oh, they're quite big. Oh, they kind of do look like sprouts. I mean, yeah. I mean, smells sweet. And there we have our truffles. Oh, oh. hard. Mm. Those are really good though. I'm very trashy. Need to crack the tooth, but mm. really good. That's just good chocolate. That's chocolate all the way through, isn't it really? Mm. It's just like a chocolate ganache, but it's much harder than that. It's like set chocolate. Maybe because it's been in the car and it's cold. Maybe. It's good chocolate. Mm. You can't taste too much of the white chocolate either. Mm. Eight and a half out of ten. Give it an eight. That's quite nice. Okay. Right, next thing. You want to pick? Can we go for these? Because yeah. I'm a bit apprehensive. So these are stolen slices. What? We definitely paid for them. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew that I was coming this year because you said the same <laughs> thing oh, last year. I've been year. thinking about it all day. You've been thinking about that since we bought this. We definitely paid for this them. This is stolen slices. Excuse my Who have you stolen them from? Host. <laughs> Generously filled with Jamaican rum soaked sultanas with a soft marzipan filling. These are so, like so many people's absolute favourites oh, around man. Christmas. Ooh. Like it's like people's mince pies, they love it. That's why it's so it's so popular around Christmas. <laughs> I don't know anybody that likes stolen. I can't remember what we thought of these last year. Oh, that's solid. They look, these, these these are the Tesco finest ones we should mention. They look bougie. That is, Jeez, that is feels filled. stodgy, doesn't it? Let's just share one because they, like normally, oh, we God. wouldn't, no. This one's well boozy. It's rum. Normally, we wouldn't choose Stolen, but no. it, it's Tesco's finest. It was in the Christmas, like it, there was so many different versions of Stolen. Yeah. Cake, slice, bites that we thought we had to try it. Go for it. This is like soaked in booze. Looks like a bit bready. Looks really like stodgy. Oh, tastes better than it smells. Ugh. The alcohol for me is what just oh, no. not good, right? Are they always shoot really that rummy? Yeah. Oh, no. We didn't like it last year. Really don't like that. Oh. Gonna give those a three. Like just taking a shot of rum. I know, isn't it? It's literally like that. Right, we just had to change the battery in the camera. The A-Tres. What were we saying? The Stolen. Stolen cake, not a huge fan. I'm nope. 
move you back into the center a little bit. Very boozy. I don't think they are all that boozy. Nah. Not a big fan. Oh, that that burn in the back of my throat is not for me. So I'm only going to give that a three. Yeah, a three. I, that's I, a generous three. I don't like stone. That's nah. just that's just personal yeah. preference. Not a fan. Not a fan. Okay. Right. Let's try these. Our one. An only savoury thing. Kind Is of, it? yeah. Kind of. I'd say they aren't savoury. Right. Tesco Coronation Turkey Lattice. Light and crunchy. Ooh. They also had the turkey stuffing balls that they had last oh, year. Yeah, the huge good. bag, right? Of like puff balls. And we saw them and we thought, no, we know we like them. We've tried them. We've never tried these before, so let's give these a go. Yeah. Coronation Turkey flavoured potato and rice snack. Why not try it? I love a lattice though. They're, what is it they've got? They've got popper balls that are like yeah. this. That no. nice. The curry flavour is actually quite subtle. It smells really strong, but it's not like overbearing. Those are really good. The coronation flavour, I wouldn't say would be for everyone. It's yeah. quite strong, yeah. but it's not subtle in any way to the point where you, you know, it's not like a ready salt is. No, I think it's actually quite, subtle in some senses, I, well, in my opinion. Do you think? Yeah. See, I think that's really strong. I like it though, it's like a generic curry flavour. Yeah. Uh, and it's nice. It's yeah. Nice. And I like that they've done a little twist on like um, just turkey. I'm going to give them a seven and a half. I'll give them a seven and a half. They're decent. Right, let's try these little fellas. These are reindeer chocolate mini rolls. Ooh. They're just um, mini rolls with just a face mini rolls on with it. a face on. There he is. Looks kind of like, dare I say, colony. It is, uh, yeah. There was that big feud earlier this year, right? About yeah. Colin and. What's the other one? Cuthbert. Cuthbert, yeah, that's it. Mini roll. That's a mini roll. Hmm. Good though. That's actually really nice. Nice little snack. Yeah. Um, I like the feeling on that one, actually. Yeah, more. more Vanilla. More creamy, yeah, yeah vanilla. vanilla. Nice. I'm gonna give that a seven. I'm gonna give the reindeer chocolate mini rolls a uh, six. You go. Mm, these. The OG, it's time. So, it wouldn't be a Christmas snack taste test without some mince pies. The mince pies. So, these are Tesco Finest six all butter pastry mince pies with brandy and port. Yeah. Boozy. Now, this Christmas, guys, we're gonna try and try as many mince pies as possible. Yeah. To find the best. Rich, crumbly, all butter pastry packed with a delicious mix of plump, fine fruits and Napoleon glazed cherries, infused with French brandy and ruby port with a refreshing twist of lemon zest, oh. tangerine oil, and festive spices. Hmm. Okay. For me, it's very close. I like the filling actually. I actually like the little boozy kick to it, but it's only subtle. It is subtle. For me, the pastry's not that great. The pastry's a bit, a bit dry. Based on other mince pies that we've had, I would say that pastry is definitely down the order. It's too crumbly. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's too buttery to the point where it just falls apart. It's a shame though, because the filling is really good, and if it was in like a nice crunchy case, it'd be good. I'm gonna give that a... Six. Okay, yeah, fair enough. I was gonna say six and a half because I think it's pretty. Oh, the feeling's great, it's the pastry yeah. that I'm not a fan of. Let's go with these. Okay. I am super excited for these because you know me, I love a muffin. It is a cranberry and orange muffin. There they are, popping their little heads out. These are made with cranberries and orange zest, topped with sweet sugar pearls and tangy red currants, mm. filled with a Jaffa style orange centre. For a sweet taste of Christmas. You love a description, don't you? <laughs> oh, I just, it just sounds so good. Ooh, easy now. It looks filled and it looks gooey. Yeah. Ooh. Jeez, this is a messy one. Go oh, on, I'll let you just off. grab it. Yeah, grab what you've got to grab. Right, I'm going to try this bit. I've got a bit of Ooh. filling in well. It's a very flaky muffin. That filling is like orange curd. It's punchy. The muffin itself is good. The muffin is good. For me, I'd always go for a more chocolatey rather than fruity muffin, so. I can't disagree with that anyway. I'm gonna say still an eight. 
that's a good muffin. That is a good muffin. That is really mm -hmm. lovely. And like, it's a citrus muffin done really well. Yeah, it is done well. There's not much yeah. cranberry in there though, I'd say. I would I'm say not getting cranberry. You, can get, you do taste a little bit of it. There's like little bits yeah. of cranberry. So even the Tesco Free From range have some Christmas products. Quite a few. And these are Tesco Free From chocolate Christmas trees. And they look like kind of biscuits, do they? Yeah. Oh, they're big. Ooh. Much bigger than I thought they were going to be. Oh, they smell like OT. Oh, they smell like Weetos. Yeah, they do. It's a big crunch. Interesting. It's alright. The chocolatey taste comes a bit afterwards. Oh, in the morning with a cup of coffee, that's going to be nice. Mm. I quite like that crunch, you know. Mm. It is more of a subtle chocolate. It's not like the punch of like mm. a chocolate digestive or something like that. But in the morning, instead of like a lotus biscuit with your coffee before the gym or whatever, yeah, that would be good. They're actually a bit of an underdog now. Mm. I'm going to give them a seven. I'll give it a seven. Maybe a bit, seven and a half. Yeah. Right, our last thing. Yeah. You? Very interesting. So they do have a few sort of crisp things as we were saying, but in the same section they've got Tesco cinnamon crunch pretzels. Interesting. They also had chocolate orange popcorn, some other pretzels, lots of nuts. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, star shaped pretzels with cinnamon baked in and spice flavour dusted on top. That is so strong. That's not like a cinnamon swirl kind of cinnamon, right? That is full on cinnamon stick. Oh, I'm not gonna like these. Oh, that smells like a full on cinnamon stick, that does. Ooh. Oh, they're a bit of nothing. I can get the cinnamon spice in there, but there's not really like, a, there's not even the strong pretzel flavor. Yeah, there's no salt. I would have preferred just like a plain pretzel rather than the cinnamon sprinkling. Yeah, they're a big fat fail for me. They just don't work. No. That there, I'm going to give them a two. I'm going to give them a three and a half. Right, that is it for our Tesco Christmas snacks, guys. So, favourite things... I think it's got to be the muffin, the muffin for me. But you know, the, these were quite good too, actually. They were good, actually. The, just the Brussels sprouts mm. chocolate, it's just chocolate. So yeah, it's shaped like a Brussels sprout. Good chocolate. Pretty good, yeah. Won't knock it. And the cranberry and orange muffins as well. I think they're a bit of a winner. Pretty good, I like yeah. that. All right, guys, we're just going to call it there for today's video. That is it for our Tesco Christmas snacks. Uh, all in all, pretty good. Um, but thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Really hope you're enjoying all of the Christmas videos so far. Um, but that is it for this one. Yeah, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, guys, if you haven't done so already, to keep up to date with all of the Christmas content that we're releasing throughout December. But yeah, that's it for today. Um, we will see you guys very, very soon for a brand new Christmas video. Until then, take care, and we will see you very soon.